Netflix wants you to always keep watching, and it's not trying to hide that. Its recent financial report talks about further steps to increase streaming hours. It's even got a special name for viewers who complete an entire season within 24 hours of its release. Binge Racers Netflix estimates that the typical subscriber spends about 60 to 90 seconds trying to find a movie or show to watch before moving on to another activity. So they have this tiny window of time to find something relevant to watch or risk their viewers try Prime Video. Or worse, go for a walk. Netflix wants you to invest yourself completely in the platform because the more you watch, the more indispensable it becomes. And when Netflix decides to raise subscription prices for the umpteenth time, you have no choice but to oblige. And with all these other streaming services to compete with, Netflix wants to be the one you'll gladly pay for, not the one you'll pirate. Interaction-based streaming has one major advantage when it comes to providing a personalized experience. Data Traditional TV networks don't interact with their viewers and only have a broad understanding of what the audience likes. Netflix, on the other hand, is a data-driven company. From rewinds and fast-forwards to the time you spend pausing on a card, every minuscule action is stored and analyzed. Using this data, Netflix learns more about viewers, which helps improve their experience. When creating content for a new market, Netflix can analyze existing search results to figure out what everyone wants to see and create shows around those themes. User interactions generate more important data, such as average watch time per episode, places where the audience drops off unexpectedly, the parts they like, and the parts they don't. Netflix provides these insights to show writers which helps them avoid unpopular storylines. Early statistics can be used to find how well or poorly a new movie or show is doing and help promote it accordingly. But there are more direct ways to use data. Take thumbnails, for example. The average person spends only about 1.8 seconds considering a title before moving on to another one. When looking for something new to watch, viewers only get a small image and a title to decide. And while the title can't be changed, the thumbnail can be. The average feature film has around 158,400 frames. Netflix's algorithms go through the movie looking for the best ones. These are rated on various factors such as visibility of main characters, brightness, and aspect ratios. The selected images are then manually reviewed, edited, and captioned. Next comes A-B testing, a process where a variation of the same content is shown to different people. A-B testing is constantly being carried out all the time. Often, the same title will be repeatedly shown with different thumbnails. Your past interactions will help look for patterns which are used to show more appealing images in the future. For example, if you tend to click on thumbnails which contain high-contrast backgrounds, serious facial expressions, or close-ups of Jake Gyllenhaal, Netflix will display those characteristics in future thumbnails, where applicable, of course. Which is why searching the same movie using different profiles will most likely show different thumbnails. Obviously, multiple people using the same profile does not help. From small, unnoticeable elements in the design to the algorithms running behind the UI, everything tries to improve user experience and maximize the time spent on the platform. This year, Netflix launched Smart Downloads, a feature where the application automatically deletes the episode you've just watched and downloads the next one, so you can continue binge-watching without interruption. Many core features on Netflix are centered around ease and comfort for the user. End credits? Auto-skip that and get to the next episode before you can even process the current one. Opening theme? Oh, we can skip those too. A progress bar to pick up where you left off, ad-free streaming, bufferless preview, auto-playing episodes, you get the idea. But nothing I've said so far is as impactful as the algorithm would suggest content on the homepage. It's highly secretive, but here's what we know. Netflix recommends content based on the viewer's history and watch patterns. The order you see is not random. The algorithm groups similar users together, which makes the process easier. So, sci-fi geeks who've watched the Matrix trilogy, or at least the first one, might be recommended Inception or Black Mirror. If enough viewers in a particular group take a liking to a new movie or TV show, the algorithm will recommend it to the rest of the group and will know to do so for future members too. Rinse and repeat, and that's how your home screen is arranged every time. Every single profile is curated based on similar content from all the groups and subgroups the user might be associated with. This system of recommendation is not new. YouTube has been using something similar for years, although it's not always accurate. Finally, let's talk about the content itself. Keeping the audience in mind, there's a fundamental difference between the way movies and shows are made. 
films are almost always watched in one sitting. So, the writers don't deviate from the script and focus entirely on the plot. TV shows, on the other hand, need to ensure their audience return for the next episode and ideally get them through the entire season to get renewed the next year. Keeping this in mind, showrunners try to end episodes and season finales with suspense and cliffhangers, often leading to poor writing. Another way Netflix has found to hook viewers is by getting rid of upload cycles. Entire seasons are released at once instead of the traditional weekly schedule. But there's more to it than binge-watching. Weekly schedules keep up hype around the show longer, but that can prevent viewers from exploring other content during those couple of months. And with Netflix creating more than 850 titles in 2018 alone, it doesn't make sense to restrict viewers to a few favorites each year. The goal is always to maximize watch time. Netflix might make a ton on original content to lure subscribers, but it's their army of data scientists, analysts, and algorithms that make sure they are here to stay. And with stiff competition from upcoming streaming services like Disney Plus and Apple TV, they'll continue doing everything they can to make sure you're still watching. If you're still there, consider subscribing and watching some of my other videos.